All right, hello everybody, it's Beth. Um, I'm bringing you something a little bit different uh, today or tonight. Uh, for me, it's tonight. Um, I have a few projects that I uh, want to start working on. I'm going to be taking the route a little bit different away from the soaping for a little bit. I love my soaping. I That is my career. You know, my colorants are my career. So nothing will ever, like, take that away. But I love DIYs. I love crafts. I love anything I can do with my hands and use my mind and just build and create something. So I thought I would bring this video to you um, tonight about a new... Um, a new venture I'm trying to uh, venture into, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and one of the things that we that people use uh, to create these beautiful um, uh, things is something that I thought I would do a video on in case, like, if this takes off and, and stuff when you guys want to see more videos about what I'm doing, then I will have this one already ready to go and how to uh, get some extra colors in your life. Um, but yes, we are venturing still on colors. If anything and everything um, involves a color, you know I want to be part of it. So what I'm venturing into is making um, the tumblers. Uh, there's glitter ones out there, there's painted ones. I'm just really um, taken away with it right now and I really want to venture into that and learning how to do them and I thought if this is what you guys would like to see I will do videos on them and if you guys want to venture into them as well you guys will know how to do them and, and all that fun stuff so um, this video right here is a colorance or coloring way that <clears throat> you can use on your tumblers it's called alcohol inks um, you can buy them at Michaels and Joann's and in all that I believe you can buy them at Joann's, but right now I've only found them at Michael's because that's where I pretty much venture to. Um, but I'm going to show you an easy, a very easy way to um, to do them. Uh, so hopefully that if you do venture along sidelines with this as well, you have another option to use colors instead of using acrylic paints or or uh, well, of course spray paints involved. Is, uh, too but I mean this is a way for your cups to get more colors say if you have someone that doesn't want to do glitter you can paint it for them and so I just thought it was pretty cool and I thought I would share with you guys there are videos on YouTube I've watched multiple ones so I thought I would do one myself um, and maybe you know walk you through the steps of, of doing it so first off you're going to need our a pair of plier uh, needle nose pliers um, just go to Walmart I got mine at Walmart for like 88 cents uh, you will need these and I will show you what you you know step by step but you're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers um, an exacto knife or one of these little blade ones too I also got this at Walmart um, it's retractable and it's perfect for what you need is right there where I found the uh, needle nose uh, you're gonna find these in the automotive department uh, where all the tools and stuff are okay I think these caught co this cost me like uh, maybe 79 cents and this was 88 cents so okay you're gonna need a pair of scissors um, I just bought a cheap old craft pair uh, scissors uh, for this I'll show you what you do with them in a little bit um, you're going to need 91% alcohol uh, some say you can use 99%, um, but they do not carry that on the shelf. You have to, you would have to go over to your pharmacist and see if they have it over the counter. Some pharmacies do, some pharmacies don't. But if you cannot get a hold of 99% alcohol, you're fine. 91% works just as well. Even I think the 70% or whatever, the 51%. But um, try to get the 91%. That's the closest you're going to get to the 99. Uh, I got this at Walmart for, I think, two bucks. Um, let's see. You're going to need a variety of these cups right here. Um, or you can get smaller cups, whatever. Uh, 
Also, you're going to have to get little containers. Um, if you guys want to know where I get mine, I will put a link down below. Uh, you can also buy these containers on Amazon. You can even get them at the dollar store. Not this kind, okay? Uh, but there is containers you can buy that will work perfectly fine for this project. I just had these on hand because, you know, I do the colorants and everything. Uh, so I just uh, ordered a few extra of these uh, for these specifically. Um, I do have the dropper bottles, like the eyedropper uh, bottle ones. Hold on. Let me see if I have them. Okay, yeah, I do. Hold on just a second. Like I said, I just got into this, and there is many companies out there where you can buy all the stuff from, and uh, I got the hookup. So just let me know, and I will let you guys know. So when you buy the alcohol inks from, like, Michael's or Amazon or wherever, they'll come in this little dropper bottle. And no, Zeus, you're not going outside. You just came in. Okay? So anyways, um, they come in these little dropper bottles. You can very easily buy your own. And you're going to be like, but how do we put them in there? Well, all you do is put the little dropper on there before you fill it or after you fill it and then pop it on. And then, of course, it comes with the lid. So, I mean, it, they are out there. Um, I know where to get them. So if you need to know, just let me know in the comments below and I will hook you guys up and where you can find these and the jars and the lids and all that fun stuff. So anyways... Um, so you're going to need that, or you can even get, um, you could probably get, they have these little Rubbermaid containers. I have a bunch of them. You can use those too. So basically all you're going to do is take the container you're using for, um, for your alcohol ink and, um, you're going to fill it with alcohol. Excuse my dog. He won't stop. Zeus, you need to relax. He, literally, literally, guys, he just came in. So you're going to fill your container up with the alcohol. And then you're going to take one of your cups. You're going to do this first because after, when you see what I'm going to be doing, you're going to be like, okay, makes sense. Okay? So you're going to take that and then you're going to dump it in here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to then take the name of the marker. Oh, I forgot to even tell you. You're going to need Sharpies. A bunch of Sharpies. Any color you want. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so you're going to need Sharpies. You can buy these in a packet um, anywhere. Uh, you know, all your local stores will have them. All your craft stores will have them. Even your, uh, like your big chains where you can buy computers and stuff like that for school supplies. Anywhere markers are sold, you will find these there. You can even buy them single um, at uh, Michael's, which is what I did. I bought them singly because I wanted certain colors. Um, but hey, if you want to buy the packet, then... The choice is yours. So basically, all you're going to hold on for just a second. So basically, all you're going to do is take whatever Sharpie you're going to use. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is the first steps you want to do. Then you're going to take and you're going to put the name of the color of the marker on the cup okay now once you do that and I already have one here with the aqua this is aqua so once you do that you're going to take your sharpie now um, what I, I I've already done a few and I'll show you what I'm talking about right here like brown I've already done so what it is doing it, it is putting it is running like seriously drying is ink taking pulling the ink the alcohol is pulling the ink from the pad of the marker okay so this is what you're going to end up with all right so I've already done a few um some of them I've noticed that the tips are very dry so I've had to um we'll just see what we have we'll see here if this comes out or not normally it comes out but some I've had issues so you're going to take your needle nose pliers and you're going to go in here and you're just going to pull out the tip 
if it will come out. See? Okay. So you're going to pull that tip out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drop it in your cup. Okay, I'm going to move the cup away because you have to have a little muscle on this. Oh, and you need some gloves too. I suggest gloves and newspaper down. I have about two layers of newspaper on my table because, well, we're dealing with ink. We're dealing with marker. And you don't want to get marker all over you. Like, I already have it on me. <laughs> so... You're going to take the needle nose and you're going to literally wiggle this out. Now, you got to put some muscle in it. You'll get it. You just got to push on, pull on it. And you'll get it out of there. Yes, it's not coming. It will, though. Sometimes they just pop up. And then you can just wiggle it back and forth until you get it out. So it's strenuous work. And you're probably thinking of me right now and saying, geez, I will just go and buy the alcohol inks at the store. But see, the one thing that I realized with it for four of them in a container, it's like $11.99, I think. I believe it was $11.99 for four one-ounce containers. Wow, dude. Okay. So it's coming, finally. All right. So, I mean, the choice is yours. But they don't come in a variety of colors. They only come in, like, your normal colors. And now you're going to take this tip off, and now you have an empty marker. And I see I shouldn't have pressed that hard. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to cut. This is what you pull out. It's like cotton with the marker alcohol, or not alcohol, the marker fluid, marker colorant, whatever you want to call it. And now you're going to cut this in half. That's a messy job, you guys. Holy crap, this one's live. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done aqua on video. Holy shnikes. <clears throat> well, as you can see, messes follow me. It's not one thing, it's another. Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife, and do not let kids do this, because this is very sharp. It is razor blade, okay? And you're going to cut down. Well, I told you this one's full of color. You're going to cut down the middle of that anywhere, and then you're going to pull this apart. Okay? So you have the cotton. Then you're going to drop it in your glass of alcohol. Man, that one was messy. We're going to get some good dye out of that one. You're going to go over here and do the same thing. There's like a little indent on the cotton swab of the, of the marker. And you'll see it when if you do it, if you choose to do it. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then you open it up. And that's where all your color is. You're going to put it in your cup with the alcohol. This is why I suggest gloves, because it is messy. And paper. Okay? So there is our aqua color, and it's already, of course, bleeding out into the alcohol. Okay? So then you just throw that away. So now do you see why I told you to write the, uh, the name on the cup before... You dissected your marker so you know what color is going in the cup. Okay, so we'll do another one. Let's go ahead and do pink. So you remember you're going to take your marker, and this is the magenta. You're going to take your pliers, and you're going to take out the you're going to take out the tip. See, now this is my, I'm actually glad that it did that because I'm going to show you how, don't freak out. Sometimes the tip of the marker does not come out, but it's fine. I'm going to show you how to take it out, okay? And I'm not going to freak out about it. Hopefully this one comes out a lot easier than the teal. Because like, see if you wiggle it back and forth, it loosens it. Whoops, I guess I should be in view. And then normally you can just... Pull it on out. 
And then there you go. There's our color swab. I'm going to call it color swab. So this is a, woo, that's strong. Woohoo! So this is a skewer. You know, you buy them um, at your grocery store where, you know, all the baking and stuff is. And then all you're going to do, if you look in there, you can see if I can focus it over to you guys the correct way. There it is. As you can see that it's in there. So all you're going to do is you're not going to take the pointy edge because there's two edges to the skewer. There's that pointy and then there's a round. Okay. You're just going to take that little round edge and you're going to poke it. How did I do that? Oh yes, this is how I did it. You're going to put this, your skewer end in there, the flat side, and you're going to look for that in there, and then you're just going to pop it on out. And there she is. Okay? So it's not a lost cause. Don't freak out and be like, oh my God, no, no, no. You got this. Okay? So now, now if you wanted to, just go ahead and cut it. Now, I did it before where I went ahead and cut the, see, if you look on the, the cotton swab, you'll see there's a line. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure all of them have them. I've seen it, that they all do have them. You can cut right down that line or, to be honest with you, you can cut anywhere. Okay, you just want to cut through to that cotton swab. Okay, you want to cut it in half. You know, not in half, but you want it sliced. Okay, so, that, I mean, there is lines on there. You don't have to cut on them lines. It's just, it helps you out a little bit. Anywhere you cut it is... Is fine as long as it's cut. I try to wipe my scissors off every time I do one. Okay, and you're gonna hold it. Be very careful because that is an ex that is a razor blade. Oh, and you're just gonna cut right down the middle. That's fine. We'll just throw it in our cup and then do it again. Didn't cut all the way through on this end. And there it is. Throw it in the cup. Okay. Let's write that on there. Okay, I'll do one more for you and then I'll finish up. Okay, we'll do we'll do purple. Okay. This is not a project for kids to do, so please do not let your children do this. I prefer and rec or not prefer. I recommend this being an adult um, job to handle because you are pulling and prying, okay? And I don't want them to hurt themselves. So let's just try to keep this for children, for our for adults. <laughs> keep this for children, even better. But no, adults, please. Okay, so you're gonna grip onto that. It's it's you got to get a good sturdy grip. Like I said, twist it back and forth. I don't know if you can twist it. No, that don't work. Just bend it back and forth. I'm probably squeezing a little too hard, but some of these, like I said, will come straight out and some of them won't. They can be a real pain in the butt. Okay, hold on. I got it. There's our purple. I know it looks like a strenuous job, but we sacrifice ourselves for our projects, don't we? <laughs> and I want multiple colors. I don't want just a variety of three, six, of well, 12. You know, so right now that's the only colors I can find are 12 colors uh, for the other ones that are available in the store. But if you're only shooting for a few colors, then go for it. I mean, I bought some too, but I've seen this and I was like, hmm. It's going to be a little messy, but why not? At least you know everything is coming from your heart. Oh, gosh. See? you got to be careful. It's slippery. That's why I say no kiddos. Let's get that open. Oop. Slippery. <laughs> Look at that color already on my gloves. It's going to be pretty on a cup. You know, you just swirl it around. And that's it. So if you 
are interested in knowing more, well, I'll have the video of what I'm doing these for um, once I get my first one done or something, and then I'll show you how these are actually going to be used. When these are done, you, like I said, you go ahead and just pour what you have in your cup of your color and you pour it in your container. You're going to want to let these set for 12 to 24 hours. What you're going to do is you're just going to pour the liquid, the alcohol into your cup, put a lid on it. Don't forget to label it and you're good to go. You'll have your alcohol inks. So I thought that, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, you got to buy a few extra things, but it's not so much. I think these are only like 15 cents a piece for the jar and like six cents for the lid. So to be honest with you, it's a good deal. And if you are really wanting to get involved into having your own colors and everything, this is pretty much a really good investment for you. And they're probably going to last for quite a long time. Like I said, you can have multiple colors. And, um, yeah. So, all right, guys. I will, I'm not going to bring you back for the finishing. Uh, like I just said, all you do is let these set for 12 to 24 hours. And then you pour them in the jar. Make sure it's labeled and then it's sealed. But I will show you how and uh, what you're going to do with them. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Please hit that button and give it a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Much love, everyone.